hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new here my name is destiny make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family make sure you turn on the notification bell so you will be notified every time i post a video and leave me some comments down below interact with your girl and i do want to start off by saying that i do appreciate all of my new followers that i have received so far I am like super grateful like to a lot of people that may look at my channel it might be small but to me it's big because I am doing this organically and it's just showing me that like I am organically uh, receiving followers because they like me for me and I do appreciate that so I just want to put that out there first and yeah so for today's video I am getting ready to go out to eat and as you can see I was supposed to be doing something natural, but that didn't happen that way. So I kind of went a little bit, just a little bit, a little glam, not too much. So if you want to know what I use and all of that good stuff, make sure you continue to watch the video and I will have all of those items linked down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a get ready with me. I am about to go out to eat for a family member's birthday so i figure i just turn on the camera and you know just do my makeup with you guys because i feel like um it hasn't been that long but it's been a while since i kind of posted like a makeup video so we just gonna get right into it okay <laughs> so as you can see i already did my brows however i feel like they kind of look a little off so Hopefully they come together at the end of this video, but just really quick because, you know, I'm always doing my brows off camera. Um, so I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And then I just kind of like lined the bottom part of my um, eyebrow just to like have a line to like follow. But I use my Precisely Brow Pencil and this is in the number five. I feel like I can go down a shade and I literally have like the tiniest bit left. So I guess it's perfect timing. And then I also went back to using my Great Brows Brow Kit. So these are the colors in this brow kit. Um, I do the front part of my brows using the lighter shade. And then I do the tailbone using the um, darker shade. And then sometimes if I feel like um, I need to go in with both colors, I kind of go and mix it just a little bit. But I literally tap it in just the tiniest bit because a lot really does come out. Um, you just have to kind of like build it up because you don't want to go in too harsh because then you will just have to wipe your brows off and like start all the way over. So I kind of cleaned it up a little bit using my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 360. So yeah, we're going to hop into this makeup look. I'm not really doing anything special because we're literally going to like a hibachi place. And if you know, the hibachi places be having them hot behind grills and uh... If you know, you know. So I am trying to figure out what primer I want to go in with. I feel like I've been using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer a lot lately. So I kind of want to, oh, okay. This is perfect timing because some stuff in here I haven't used on my channel yet. So I am going to go in with my NARS Soft Matte Primer and i have not used this yet but so i haven't used this yet and it comes out white um so i'm just gonna put a little bit like dab it everywhere because on the packaging it does say um apply a small amount to the face or desired areas using fingertips But I was going to say, I seen a reel on Instagram and a girl was using this primer. And so I was intrigued to buy it 
And I've had this primer for like a couple of months now and have not used it until today. Okay, so I did use this foundation when I went to Raleigh. You guys will see that in my vlog. It should be posted before this video. But um, this is the foundation that I will be using today. And this is the Light Reflecting Foundation. And I have the shade MD4 Macau. So I didn't do like, I didn't record myself using this foundation, but I do have this foundation on in my vlog. So I will plug that somewhere up on the screen if you guys want to watch it as well. Um, yeah, so let me figure out what brush I want to use and then I'll be right back. So all of my good brushes, I already used them. So I'm gonna use my Morphe brush and this is in the M6. I have no idea what this brush is supposed to be specifically for, but we're gonna use it for the foundation today. So I already shook up the foundation and I'm gonna start off with four pumps on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna take the brush and kinda like um, dab into it. So I feel like I use quite a bit on the right side of my face. So I'm gonna go in with four more pumps and just kind of like add to what I already did on the left side of my face. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like my skin is kind of like clearing up a lot and I'm super duper excited about it. Um, but I am kind of like breaking out a little bit right now just because it's almost that time of the month. It's always annoying, but you know, what can you do? Especially when, if you're like me, usually like a week before, I kind of go crazy on like wanting to eat a lot of junk food, like heavily. I am like a big junk food person. I love snacks and just little easy stuff I can get my hands on that's good but like when that time of the month comes it's like intensified so I have no idea why but I kind of want to go in a little bit more um with the foundation but so far like if you just go stop right here and let it like oxidize and dry into your skin i feel like it would definitely give you that skin like finish that you would want but i kind of want to do just a little bit more i'm gonna start off with two and then i'm going to apply with my beauty blender now So next up, I am going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm going to kind of like go ahead and apply it, but let it sit just for a little bit.
So I'm gonna just let that sit for a little bit and then I am going to, hmm. I guess I'm gonna figure out what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use, even though it's gonna be like probably neutral colors anyway. Okay, so I think I know what palettes I'm gonna use. So now I am going to go in with my Beauty Blender again. So a trick that I learned from Aaliyah's face was that um, when you dip into your powder, she said to like take the excess of the powder and like kind of wipe it on the back of your hand to not have that cakey under eye look. And then, you know, if you need to go back in, you can always just go back in with some more powder. I'm just going off the back of my hand and kind of like touching up in places I feel like need to be touched up. And just like with the concealer, I took what was left over from like underneath my eye and I applied it on my lid. And so then I just took like what was left of the powder on the back of my hand and just applied it to my lid as well. Which I kind of like that method just because I feel like you don't waste too much powder. And then I am going back into my powder a little bit to put, you know, some on my nose and then the rest of my face. So as you can see, like everything kind of look real seamless and nice. Like I really don't want to go in with any contour, but I might take a little bit of the powder just to slightly give my face a definition. So we're gonna like set the rest of my face with some more of my, and if I didn't say it, but I am using my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent. And also, I don't know if I ever said this before on my channel either, but if you ever want to like take away some of the shine from your brows when you are using like brow gels or anything like that, um, you could just go in with some of your translucent setting powder and that will help take away um, some of the shine. Don't go too crazy because then you're going to look like you have a ghost uh, brow thing going on, but that's just another little trick. And um i always like dip my brush very lightly into my powder and kind of tap off the excess because it is a translucent setting powder and because i do have beautiful melanated skin i don't want to come off ghostly so i kind of like tap it in take off some of the excess and then i just tap it into my skin i don't sweep it across or do all that i just lightly tap it and kind of like dust it away if i need to so Again, if I never said that on my channel, that's another tip for you guys. So I know this is, I, I believe this is discontinued my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, but I, I mean, I believe you can like buy these colors separately. So I'm always using the deep contour. It does have light, medium, and deep in this one. And then at the top, it does have highlight shades. I've never used any of those other shades. I've always used this palette for this one particular shade. So I'm just gonna go in. And then once, you know, I get some on my brush, 
I am going to dust off the excess. Like I said, I don't want to do too, too much because I kind of just like how the naturalness of my face look with this foundation. So I never really add any more powder to my brush or whatever. And normally people would just go with a smaller brush, but I just feel like why dirty up a bunch of brushes when I could just make this work. And if I do make it look too harsh, I can always take my beauty blender and kind of fix it up a little bit. But you know, so I think that's all I'm going to do as far as that goes so for some reason I feel like I want to use some blush and it's very rare that I want to use blush hmm. while I ponder on that let's start on the eyes so I'm not sure when my camera cut off but just to make sure I you know didn't get that I'm using my by Mario um master mattes palette and i am taking the shade matte seven into my crease So I am going to be using my D Natasha Denona palette that I received in my Boxy Charm. These are the colors. So I kind of want to go in with this color on my lid. I don't know why. I just want to use it. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here and just put that in the inner corners. And then I am going to take the dark shade in my By Mario palette, which is, I believe, matte 10. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye to darken it up. So that's going to be it for the eyes for right now. I am going to be going in with my lashes and I am going to be using the House of Lashes Iconic Light. These are my favorite lashes. These are my third pair because I really like these lashes a lot. So I am going to do that, but I'm also going to set my face as well. And I am going to be, I think I'm going to mix two different setting sprays. So I am going to be using my Milk Makeup Setting Spray, but then I'm also going to be going in with my NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish Spray as well. So first, 
I am going to shake this up and then spray it. And while that is sitting, I am going to apply some glue to my lashes so that I can apply them. Okay, so I have my lashes on and before I set my face again, I am going to go in with my Pretty Vulgar um, blush and this is in the shade Make Them Blush. And I'm literally only putting a little bit on, like tapping it because it's very, very pink. So for highlighter, I am going to be using my NYX Born to Glow. And I think I am going to maybe go in with this highlighter over here in the middle. just a little bit and then I'm going to set my face using my NYX matte um, finish Finny matte so I'm gonna go in and apply some mascara and I am using this um, it's by the brand It, and it's the Superhero um, Elastic Stretch Volume, the Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara in Super Black. And I had got like this little small one. I can't remember where I got it from, but I'm just gonna use that to apply. So now I am going to be trying out something new um i never used this mac lip pencil and this is in the old y'all but goodie um color cork i never used this before Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what happened to my sound, but I am using the NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Butterscotch. A little bit of the shade Fortune Cookie, and just apply that like in the center and see what it does as well. Yes, ma'am. So, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys found some of my tips very helpful for you guys. So, I am about to head out the door. Your girl said she was going for a natural look. And then we end up with this uh, slightly glam look. But this lip combo, I'm here for it. And I do have a lot of other colors. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all. Listen, y'all. I literally <laughs> was influenced by TikTok. So. 
y'all better run down and get y'all some of those butter glosses because they are literally only five dollars and sometimes you might catch a sale at ulta and you might can get a couple of them for a good price plus y'all know i love klarna and they do offer klarna online as well so you know if you want to buy all of them and klarna it you can do that as well but i did go to the store and i did purchase them so i didn't klarna it but Y'all know I'm an advocate for Klarna. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more videos.